The TD Niagara Jazz Festival presents Niagara Summer Mardi Gras Sessions. Join us online every Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m. as we bring new Orleans to the north. Direct from the Crescent City, Dance in Man 504, Windex Pete, Christopher Butcher of the Heavyweights Brass Band, and more. Featuring mask making, Cajun cooking demos, musical spoons, second line dance steps, cocktail demos, funky fashion tips, and musical clips. Tune in for these free sessions on our Facebook or YouTube channels, Jazz Niagara. Then we'll celebrate Niagara Summer Mardi Gras together this summer on July 18th. It's virtually possible. Just watch and see. Niagara Summer Mardi Gras sessions are brought to you in part by TD, the City of St. Catharines, and the Town of Niagara-on-the-Lake. And good evening, welcome. My name is Juliet Dunn, and I'm excited to be here this evening. A little bit cooler inside than it is outside. I hope you're hydrating uh, very well here in Ontario. It's super hot. <laughs> but wherever you are, hopefully uh, you're hydrating. This is number four of our Niagara Summer Mardi Gras sessions. If you've missed any of them, you can always catch them on our Facebook and YouTube channels. And I'll post uh, those for you in a little bit. But let's bring on our guests for this evening because I'm quite excited to jump in here. And I hope you are as well. The Vaudevillian are, are a husband and wife duo, Jitterbug James and Nora Spades. And they normally, when, they're, when there's not a COVID lockdown, are touring across Canada, the US and Europe playing lots of festivals and theaters with their washboard in hand. We were fortunate enough to have them last summer at the festival, and they did a Musical Spoons workshop there, as well as a washboard workshop. And so tonight we're going to try it online, and I'm going to jump right in there as well. They also, and I didn't say, say this last time when they played for us, they also are leather smites, and their leather business is wood stove leather goods. So I hope they will tell us a bit more about that this evening. So let me bring on our guests. Here they are, Nora and James. Hey, how are you guys? Good, hey, thank Juliet. you. Good. Are you as hot over there as I am over here? <laughs> Can you see it? Is the camera high def? We're sweating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, no close-ups on the sweat, but I trust you. Yeah, it's it's a scorcher for sure. Well, thanks so much for doing this. We're really excited to learn about jug band and, and musical spoons and to see if we can actually make some music with you tonight. Oh, we're thrilled. And everyone that uh, picks up some spoons is going to make some music. Everybody. Very cool. Very cool. So I believe you're going to do a couple of tunes uh, off the bat. Before you start, did you want to tell us what, what, is, what does Jug Band mean? Where does it come from? Jitterbug James? Yeah, so a Jug Band is a band um, with a jug player and a mix of conventional and homemade instruments. And uh, these homemade instruments are ordinary ob objects adapted to or modified for making sound, like the wash tub bass. Washboard, spoons, the musical bones, nice. stovepipe, um, even a comb and a tissue paper. And uh, the term drug band is loosely used in referring to ensembles that also incorporate homemade instruments that are more accurately called skiffle bands or spasm bands or juke bands. Um, and those are particular ones without a jug. So jug band music is a genre, but also um, like a band of homemade instruments. Very cool. And when did you guys uh, discover Jug Band and decide that's kind of the genre you wanted to pursue? Um, well, we both found it in different ways. So I grew up um, in a trailer park with my grandma and there was a washboard um, at, at the trailer because the washing machine was always breaking. So hmm. uh, laundry was done on the washboard and it's, it's a really fun thing to tinker with and make sound with. So I naturally came by it um, through my grandma. Nice. Have you come by it, honey? I was like 16 or so, I started getting into jug band music, listening to recordings of Gus Cannon's Jug Stoppers and the Memphis Jug Band. And I just loved how it was like, it was more or less jazz and blues music, but with homemade and simpler instruments. Very cool. And then you've been together for how long now? Um, think about five years five or so. Years, yeah. Wow. And been making music like from day one, pretty much. Yeah. 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 I went to New Orleans for three months and that's how we uh, started playing full time after that. What a great place to start. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So what are you going to play for us? 
Uh, why don't we do a spoon tune to start off? Um, I'm going to use my wooden spoons. I absolutely love the sound of wooden spoons. These are maple wood. Hmm. And the song we're going to do is called Blue Ridge Mountain Blues. Very cool. Take it away, guys. <laughs> on some metal spoons, which is more standard that we're going to be doing in a little bit all together. So this song is called Mama Don't Allow. We really love this one. I hope you do too. And uh, for you folks out there who enjoy the YouTube, we aren't normally very active on our YouTube channel, but we uh, past couple weeks have uh, started uh, getting involved with YouTube. So you can follow us on The Vaudevillian on YouTube. And this song is one of the latest songs we put on the YouTube. <laughs> Ooh. 
So there you have it, the two different spoons, very different sounds. Now we're going to play the washboard for a song. We're going to play a song called, uh, What's That Thing? Yes, folks, and uh, washboard was a very popular instrument uh, turn of the 20th century. Because it's like a drum kit, except you don't have to haul around a drum kit. And it, I think it sounds better than a drum kit. <laughs> It's great for ragtime and syncopated music, as you'll see. This is a fun one to dance to. Let's do the cut of doing it. Ready? Black 
me in the city jail, they put me in a cell. Don't you worry about the trial, the judge will treat you well. Okay. On the morning I came to trial, the judge was feeling fine. I'll do you with my friend, but he gave me 99. Now I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Well, now I'm doing time, I'm doing it. tune there called the cod is doing it we love that song so with the washboard you can see on my hands here i've got a bunch of things on my fingers so these here are metal thimbles that i have taped on if i don't tape them on they'll go flying and hit people it's happened before and people weren't thrilled on my middle finger and my ring finger are finger picks can you show yours as well so we both got some finger picks here and these finger picks are really wonderful for the scrub bless you honey the scrub on the washboard where the thimbles are really incredible for the bells so if you take a look at the washboard here you'll see all kinds of different things on here that i've put on the washboard base the wood is from 1934 <coughs> bless you sneezy oh you okay sweetie allergies <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna be okay i promise so the wood here is from 1934 and it's falling apart <coughs> bless you <laughs> <laughs> so many times so many sneezes and the washboard has fallen apart so many times but that's okay you just put it back together again the flutes here from <coughs> i'm good i'm gonna step up for a second okay. no, you... <laughs> i'll catch up with you later honey jitterbug james will be right back he's uh sneezing all the way down the lane as he goes uh let's wish him some luck so the flutes of the washboard, as I was saying, are from 1926, uh, and this here is brass, and these are herring bones, and I just love how a brass washboard sounds. I've got about 50 of them or so, um, and that's for all the different washboard workshops that we do across Canada. Last year, we taught over 2,000 people how to play the washboard at different festivals, including Niagara Jazz Fest, and that was a lot of fun. And if you take a look at what's on the washboard, you'll see all kinds of different bells, this is a ashtray lid that I took off because I love the sound and put it on here. This is a clock face uh, found in New Orleans that I really like and a little symbol behind it to play both. Up here, I've got two of my favorite tea kettle lids right here. I really like their sound. A bell, a bell, and then some wood right here to play on. So the washboard is a great example of a jug band instrument. It's taking something that you that had a different use, and that was cleaning clothing and doing laundry, and making it a musical instrument. So that is the essence of what jug band music is. So now we're going to go and um, ask Jennifer James if he's okay to come back. I'm good. How, how many sneezes is that? 30 or 32? Uh, I lost count. 50. Oh, 50. So now we're going to play a song on the wash tub bass. And this is a lot of fun. I always enjoy playing the wash tub bass. Just give us a quick second here. <laughs> oh, man. My allergies are bad. I'm sorry, baby. Oh, really? Nora, I'm jumping in with a question while you set up. Amazing. Um, so the way you put together your washboard is there a particular, is there rules to how and where you put the bells and the whistles and the things, or is each one completely unique to the player? That's a great question. So it's completely unique to the player. I've seen all kinds of things on washboards, and of the 50 washboards that we have, we have all kinds of things all over the place, <laughs> um, be it a tuna can. After your lunch, you take your tuna can and you drill it on. Cool. Or the sink faucet, the drain in the sink. That has a really neat sound. You can even put that on. Right. So it just totally depends. If you go around your house with a spoon or a fork and you start tapping things, things make sound that you had no idea. And, hmm. and they're so neat. It's so much fun. So then if you just figure out how to put that on the washboard, and I always recommend to drill a hole first because the wood is going to be very old on washboards. Right. That it will split. So you have to drill a hole. Huh. And then you'll screw in the different thing that you're putting on so that the wood doesn't split. Very cool. Do you ever, have you ever, I know you do washboard workshops. Have you ever done one like how to build your own washboard? That could be I've fun. I've never <laughs> done a workshop. Can you pass me that wood? Um, of how, I've never done a group workshop, I should say, but I have done individual um, washboard lessons and I've helped people set up before. 
but that's a really neat idea in of itself. Yeah. So, like when you said the tuna can, yeah, like there's so many ideas that could pop up. And especially now we're all in lockdown. I bet everybody's getting really creative. <laughs> Especially with this, I guess, the cleaning too, the spring cleaning everyone's doing, you're going to find all kinds of neat things that you can put on a washboard, even like a cookie tin lid. Those are yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay, thanks. give us thanks. the cookies first. Yeah. Then the, uh, and then you <laughs> keep the lid. <laughs> exactly. Hey, I, hey, James, I was sneezing over here too. <laughs> Were you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it is it is the season for sure. <laughs> okay, I, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks. <laughs> Let me just get comfy here. Kiwi. I mean, heavy. So this here <laughs> is a wash tub base. Uh, hopefully you can see it okay. We're in our RV here, so <coughs> it's, a, it's not really cramped, but it, but it is a little bit, I suppose. So this is a wash tub base, and it's... <laughs> I love you so much, honey. Oh. You know that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can't even say bless you anymore. It's past its due. So this is a <coughs> wash tub base that you used to put water in and soap, and then all of your clothing, and then you put the washboard in, and then you scrub all your clothing in the wash tub. So if we made an instrument out of the washboard, why not make an instrument out of the wash tub? So I have a walking stick here, and some cord. This is parachute cord. You can use all different kinds of rope or cord, and I've tied it, and I've made it very taut. And now I'm going to play it as if it's a stand-up bass. Hope you guys enjoy. This is an old Memphis Jug Band song, which were probably the most popular Jug Band of the 20s and 30s. You okay? <laughs> Good. Mama, I don't know how come you want me to roll it from the sun to the sun. You got me rolling, Mama, and I don't know how come you mustn't want me to roll it from sun to sun, from sun to sun. I rode in the winter. I rode out of fall. Summer here, mama, do what my rolling did all. Well, I rode all the summer and I rode in the fall. Now the summer here, baby, don't want my rolling did all. tub bass and what you can do with a wash tub to make music. Now we're going to play a tune and Jitterbug James is going to play his homemade car horn and please tell us what the name is, honey. This is a contraption I called the Karzubamaphone. It's kind of like a Dr. Zeus sounding thing. And what year was the horn from? Pretty sure this is a car horn off of like a Model A or Model T from 1915 and I put a kazoo mouthpiece onto it to make my own little car horn kazoo dubbed the car zoo by my phone <laughs> Yeah. 
jug band music so we've got the washboard that we showed you the musical spoons the wash tub base and the karzubamophone which i believe is patented isn't it honey no i couldn't afford the patent <laughs> maybe Feel one day it. maybe one day that's okay though so it's just looking around and seeing what you've got and you can make music out of anything so we're going to play one more song on the musical spoons and then we're going to show you how to play the musical spoons and then we're going to play some songs together so we got one more song. This is called the Georgia Ray. This is a Blind Willie McTell song. <laughs> oh, I apologize for the sweating and the sneezing, folks. I'm having an allergic reaction to something <laughs> and I got heat stroke at the same time. Nothing like sweating and having an allergy. Uh, yeah. Want some ice cubes? No, I'm good. Okay. So this is the Georgia Ray. I'm going to play on the wooden spoons again. These are my preface. Um, sorry, these are my favorite, I should preface. I love the wooden spoons. I find that the sound and the tone is really beautiful and full, but it's not too uh, too sharp because I find, I find the metal spoons sometimes are really sharp and they cut through the song and they take away a little bit. So the wooden ones are my favorite, so I'm going to play them. The Georgia Ray. You ready, honey? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. 
everybody. Let's let Jitterbug James catch his breath and stop sneezing. Whew. And let me just take a quick little second. Whew. We got to get some AC in this RV, I think, one day. But that's okay. Not today. So we're going to take our spoons, go to our kitchen, and go into our, um, our kitchen drawer and grab two metal spoons. So the bigger, the better. So okay. ideally, in a silver cutlery drawer if we have silverware the bigger the better those are the ideal however tablespoons work wonderful as well just not teaspoons even though i love tea so mm. the bigger the better just not the teaspoons and not the serving spoons by any means like nothing that you're going to be scooping big big portions of your delicious cuisine into just tablespoons would be wonderful do we need to tape them together nora Hey, Juliet. Hey. So we, we don't have to tape them right now. That's a great question. So okay. we can have tape on hand if we think that it's going to be helpful to us, but we definitely don't need it right now if we're going to be using it at all. Okay. Okay. Juliet, how are you doing? Is, is it really hot over there too? It's, I don't think it's as hot as where you are. Usually I have my little fireplace going in the back for ambiance, but not tonight. No, no way, eh? Not today. That's no. so funny. Oh yeah, it, it's it's a scorcher today. It really is. <laughs> you know what it feels like? It feels like last year, um, I think the Saturday at TV's Niagara Jazz Festival in person, yes. which is a lot of fun. Like when you, when it's really hot and it's sweaty, but you're in, in person and there's tons of people and it's yes. so hot that you're all laughing. You know, that's that's what it feels like. Yeah, oh, we're at our own house. <laughs> I know everybody's cooped up. Yeah, <laughs> it 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 is probably yeah the exactly the same uh, temperature and climate as it was on what was that July twentieth last year? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. until early June. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of fun. We really loved being at uh, TD's Niagara Jazz Fest last year, doing the washboard workshops and spoon workshops. We the loved having you. Is now, so the spoon workshops, I supply a bunch of these wooden spoons that are connected at the handle. Right. And that's a really important part of learning the spoons. They're called cheater spoons. I'm going to disappear so they can see closer up. Amazing. So these here are connected at the handle, these wooden spoons, and they're incredible to learn on. So usually at the spoon workshops that we teach, we hand out about 50 to 60 of these spoons to the different participants, and we're all in a circle, and we're all laughing and usually drinking, and we're having a hoot. But now we're going to use metal spoons that are not connected. We're not in a circle, and we're not drinking together. But that's okay. We're still going to have a hoot, and we're still going to laugh, I hope. So I'm sure some them. people are drinking at home, Nora. <laughs> That's true. I just can't see them. If anybody is drinking at home, can you comment and let us know? I have um, water right now, but my I'm waiting for my wine delivery. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, mm -hmm. I want to get a wine delivery. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really nice. Yeah, it's a friend of ours. <laughs> I said, if you want to come to dinner at a distance, bring some wine. <laughs> That's so sweet. Okay, yeah. we got to do that sometimes. <laughs> so our first step is if um, your hand is not completely sweaty, then great. If it is, then just dry your hand off <laughs> like I am. And you're going to take your spoons, your two spoons, your tablespoons, or your silverware spoons in your dominant hand, so the hand that you write with. Wonderful. And we're going to take the first one right in between our thumb and our forefinger, just like this. Perfect. And you want it so that it's not going to fall out of your hands, even if your hands are so sweaty. So it's pretty strong. You've got a good grip on it. And then you're going to take your next spoon and you're going to put that spoon in between your index finger and your middle finger. So just like this. So you've got them in your grip and they're not going to go anywhere. They're pretty sturdy. They're not going anywhere. And you're just going to rotate them so that the backs of the spoon are facing each other, such as this. Wonderful. Juliet, how are you doing? You've got your spoons already? Oops, there I am. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yes. Amazing. Is that right? Uh, I actually can't see you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Back to 
got an allergy meds. I'm okay now. Oh, amazing. Oh, I yay. Really nice, so I can't tell. Yep, sounds amazing. <laughs> sounds good. I can't see it. Sounds great. Fun. So we got our spoons perfectly like that. We're going to hold them, and you got to have to find a sweet spot. And what you're going to do is hold them together just like that so that they're not going anywhere, and we're going to tap our thigh. So in between our thigh and our hand. Juliet, how are you doing? How's your tapping going? Yeah. Can, can you hear it? Yeah, I can. That's amazing. <laughs> this so is really I'm, fun. I'm going to grab my DVD because my two um, – Little risk of falling because I'm sweating so much. So I'm gonna grab these ones and keep going with the lesson. Okay. So we're gonna keep tapping our thigh and our hand. So just like this. Amazing. And let's go a little bit faster. See how fast we can go. It's hard because your the spoons fall out of your hand sometimes. Amazing. You so make it you make it look so easy. <laughs> It's, it's, it is easy once you get the hang of it, but I'm also using my special spoon, so that, oh. that's good. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, it sounds so good. Okay, so now if we've got the tapping going, and even though they're kind of falling out of our hands a little bit, we're going to get used to it. It's just a little bit of a different grip than what we're used to. That's why it's a little bit awkward and uncomfortable. But once you get the hang of it, that's the hardest part of spoons is just holding them. So once you've got the holding them down pat and you're comfortable, you can speed up and you can start doing other tricks. So the main trick of playing the spoons is the glide. So we're gonna take our non-dominant hand and open our hand up and we're gonna make our fingers really, really rigid and strong and firm so that they can't bend. So they're really strong. Jitterbug James is making faces at me off the camera. What are you doing, <laughs> cutie? Just relaxing. Oh, I'm sure. Okay, so now that we've got our hand, this big high five that I'm showing you, we're going to take our spoons and we're going to glide the spoons from our index finger to our pinky, keeping these fingers so firm. So let's do that together. Okay. Keeping our fingers so firm, and that's how we get that sound. How's the glide going, Juliet? Trickier, but I, I think... Oh. <laughs> you got it, you got it. And keep your finger super, super firm. Okay. Yep, exactly. That's ah. it. I know it's hard. But <laughs> That's got... trickier. That's it. That's, <laughs> it. That's it. That's the glide. The You're already playing the tune. Cool. I like this one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I feel like Animal in the Muppets with this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh so God. fun. So good. So, when so fun. Take... When we take those two um, things together and put them together, so when we put our tapping from our thigh to our hand, and then we put the glide into the mix, and then back, and then back to the glide, and then back to our thigh and our hand, and then the glide again. That's playing the spoons. That is literally playing the music. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so now you got a great party trick. Yeah. So now we get to go into the nuance and, and some of like the, the finesse parts of playing the spoon. So when we're playing on our thigh and our hand and our hand is open like this, we get one sound. When we close our hand, we get another sound. So it depends if your hand is closed or open, you get different sounds. You can also put your, this is something that a lot of folks in Newfoundland and Nova Scotia, that's where I learned how to play the spoons. They play over here near your elbow. Just don't hit your funny bone because that sucks. So you can be going all over the place and you get different sounds. Sometimes when Jitterbug James is making me really mad, I even hit him and I get a different sound and a squawk usually because he yells at me. But that's uh, neither here nor there. <laughs> so let's play some songs together. Jitterbug James is going to come back here, and we're going to play a song together, playing the spoons. I find the faster the song is, the easier it is to play the spoons, even though that's not usually the case for any other instrument. Yeah, it definitely makes sense for spoons for some reason. So we're going to play a song, and we're going to take into what we learned was the tapping on our thigh and our hand with your hand open. 
closing our hand, tapping on our thigh on our closed hand. The glide, this is the really hard part, but we all got it. From our index finger to our pinky, keeping these fingers so firm. Amazing. And then also by our elbow. I'm not getting the funny bone. That's a very important thing. Okay, let's play a song together. I can't, the, I have trouble with the, uh, what's this one called again? The glide? The glide, yeah, yeah. The glide. I, I, like, I like the one on the left. <laughs> <laughs> you make it look so easy with your elbow and all that. The <laughs> Very smooth. Good. So let's yeah. do the glide. Let's, all of us who have our spoons in our hand, for everybody who's watching at home, let's work on the glide a little bit because that is the trickiest part. Mm. Aside from holding the spoons and them not falling out of your hands, especially <laughs> if it's a hot day. So what we can do is let's take our spoons again and we've got them really secure in our hand. And we've got them with our non-dominant hand and the hand is totally open. And if you notice, I can't push back my fingers. That's how firm mm. and rigid I have them. It's so strong. If I gave someone a high five, it would be too strong. It's so firm. <laughs> So then we're going to take the spoons and from the index finger to the pinky, keeping in mind our high five hand is facing us and the spoons are facing away from us. Mm. So just like this, keeping our fingers so firm. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, better. That's amazing. I can hear everybody at home cheering you on. <laughs> Yay. So that's it. That's the glide. That's the really, really fancy part. <sighs> And that's what makes all those trills and, and you can do a lot of different triplet stuff with the spoons with those too, which is fun. So what we're planning on doing is playing some more songs for you guys. Um, Jitterbug James is gonna be playing the Karzuma phone. I'll be playing the spoons and the washboard. And we encourage you to that and everybody at home to play along with us on your spoons. How does that sound? Excellent. I'm ready. Amazing. Okay, <laughs> do, you, do you have a time, baby? 15 to set, quarter to seven. Perfect. Okay, so why don't we do a spoon song? Sounds good. Or you want to switch it up? Let's do a washboard song. Sounds good. And Juliet and everybody at home, you guys hold down the spoons. You got the it. The beauty of the spoons, too, is you can be drinking quite a bit because all you're doing is uh, <laughs> hitting the spoons on things. There's not any uh, chords or keys. Can you dance, Juliet? Right now? No, not right now. Just in general, are you a good dancer? Oh, I, I guess I love to dance. Yeah, I, yes, I, you are. <laughs> I do. I so I, I and I and I I teach Zumba. I've taught Zumba for many many years. Oh my gosh! Then yes, yes, very much. So right. I like I like to move. Let's put it that way. I like to move, and so often uh, if my husband Peter's a drummer as well as um, a piano player, but often if he's on the drums, I'll be dancing around the studio. <laughs> 
Oh, that's, that's so cute. And now I can do it with my spoons. <laughs> yeah, so that's what the translation is. So, so playing the spoons is so um, much with rhythm the same way that you dance. So it's really just, it's a different way, but you're translating dance and movement into playing the spoons. Very so cool. So anyone that can dance can play the spoons. Anyone that can't dance, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Okay. They can just eat soup. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. you. Bless well, you. Thank you. I'm ready. <laughs> so let's play some songs, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Everybody, if you can't dance, you can still play the spoons. Everyone can play the spoons. Not everyone can dance, though. That's the truth. Ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just so you can go to the ice cream truck and... Uh, okay, let's do going down south, shall we? Yeah. Okay, everybody, so grab your spoons and let's all play together. And let's listen to the ice cream truck for a second. <laughs> oh, I'm having flashbacks of the 70s. I love the ice cream man. <laughs> or woman, ice cream person. <laughs> oh. He's right, he, he is right outside our door. <laughs> wow. So at first I thought it was a rooster, and then I remembered you have about, how many animals do you guys have on Nora's Ark there? We have eight, but we, we could add a rooster. We don't have one of those yet. <laughs> that, see, and at first I thought it was the, one of the animals. <laughs> Where's your lovely doggy tonight? Too hot? It's, it's too, too hot, hot here. Yeah. 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 It's too hot in here, so all the pets are in the AC. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, ice cream. 
Oh, look, they're waving at us. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're just about to pass, hopefully. Yeah. We've got spoons for the ice cream. Yummy. Yeah, no, no kidding. <laughs> I happily traded it. <laughs> so I think we've got a few more tunes. Um, Juliet, how are we doing for time? Yeah, probably two more would be perfect. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, and actually, um, and I didn't say off the top, and I'll say it now. I can post this now, actually. And then I'll also post it at the end. Um, so actually, um, Bonnie's uh, done it for us here. So I'm going to put this up. So um, the Jitterbug James are uh, directing any gratuities offered during this evening's workshop directly to benefit Toronto nonprofit organization Black Women in Motion. And you can contribute directly with the link which is posted. So hopefully everyone can see that. PayPal.me slash Black Women in Motion 1 with the, with the number one. And actually, just before um, we get back to the music, I just wanted to read their mission statement. Um, so Black Women in Motion, their mission is to empower, celebrate, and support the advancement of Black women. Through collaboration with local partners and community agencies, they deliver programs and connect their clients to resources that support their needs. So that's great. That's really nice that you guys are doing that. So please direct. I'll put, the, I'll put it up one more time so everybody can see. PayPal.me, Black Women in Motion with the number one. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Absolutely. And actually, I also had, if I can find it here uh, in my banners, I also had their, oh, and here's their website. Yeah, blackwomeninmotion.org, so you can learn more about them. There. there Amazing. You have it. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, thank you guys. That's really, really great. Oh, our it's the absolute least that we can be doing. Our pleasure. Um, we've got two more tunes for you guys, and then we're going to go and chase the ice cream truck. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Send it over here after. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> if you send the wine delivery over, I will happily send that. Right? I'm still waiting. I'm going to text them. Like, where's the wine? <laughs> Thank you oh, so much, boy. Juliet, from TD's Niagara Jazz Festival for having us. We're having fun, even though Jitterbug is sneeze about 60 times <laughs> oh my god i feel for you james i do i do wow <laughs> so let's do one more spoon song and then we'll finish it off with a washboard song thank you everybody for joining us i hope everybody learned how to play the spoons um you'll have to come to a kitchen party that we have sometime or a festival that we're at hopefully at um something to do with td's niagara jazz festival again um hope everybody's keeping safe let's play a song here we go <laughs> I want to 
myself and I'm going back to y'all. I will do my thing, baby, down with my all and all. I tune for you guys. Thanks everybody for joining us. Why don't we do come around to my little cabin? Sound good? Sounds good to me. Why don't you get started? I'll meet you there. All right, folks. Thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, it's been our pleasure. We are the Vaudevillian. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm just going to sign off. I'll see you in just a sec. <laughs> Once again, that was the Vaudevillian, Nora and James. And I've posted at the bottom there, you can see where their donations can go to for their performance, blackwomeninmotion.org. This Friday, we have Thompson Egbo Egbo for our live stream love jazz series from Toronto and then from Vancouver, Jillian Lebec on Saturday. So those shows are from 7 until 8 p.m. Thanks again for joining us. Stay safe, everyone. Please stay cool, hydrate. It is hot out there. Have a great week, and we will see you on Friday. And let me just thank our sponsors one more time here. Take care. Bye. <laughs>